This is a screenshot of one of our clients that we helped get over 400% more sales for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and almost 600% more sales in preparation for Christmas. By the end of this video, you're going to walk away knowing exactly how to maximize your revenue and your profit for Q4. We're going to talk about some important dates for the increased demand of Q4, advertising tips, tricks, and optimizations, as well as the deals that you can leverage for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. My name is Zane, and I'm from Seller Metrics, an Amazon agency dedicated to guiding Amazon sellers to maximizing the profits and the revenue on Amazon. So as we all know, Q4 is the highest consumer spending quarter of the year. This is due to Prime Day, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and of course, Christmas. Sellers can expect up to five times more sales in this quarter. And depending on your niche and product, you might even see four to 10 times more on your return on ad spend. The most important thing for this quarter is inventory management. It is absolutely critical that you have your inventory in the warehouses for this quarter. Since this is the most consumer spending quarter of the year, most Amazon sellers are putting in orders with their manufacturers to get their inventory in, and thus the manufacturers have a massive backlog. Since Q4 has historically seen up to five times more sales, the actual amount of inventory that you might need could be that amount, but I would highly recommend that you look at your sales history to determine exactly how much inventory you really need. If you have multiple variations of a product, you might want to consider going conservative on the variations, but put in a bigger order for the hero product or the product that does the best. So now that you have the inventory handled, here are some dates that you need to be aware of. So some of the most important dates that you need to keep in mind of are Prime Day, which is sometime in mid-October. As of 2022, Amazon added Prime Day in the fall as well before it was just in the summer, and it should be sometime mid to late October. After that, the most important dates are Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Next to Boxing Day, it is one of the most important sales dates of the year. Now, Amazon requests that you submit official Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals by September 6th. Now, that date has already passed, but if you did submit it then, what Amazon does is they create a special Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals page. And if you submitted it on time, then they feature your sale and your product on their deals page, which is a massive competitive advantage as it drastically increases your visibility. And then last thing that you need, guys need to consider is Christmas. Of course, big gifting season, so lots of products. Now you know the importance of inventory and some of the important dates that you should keep in mind coming up in Q4. So let's look over the timeline. So make sure you get your inventory purchase order in no later than early to mid September. Beyond this, suppliers get very, very busy as well as shipping companies. Lead times from suppliers are usually 30 to 40 days. So the earlier you do it, the better it is. Aim to have your shipment in by no later than November 20th to take advantage of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Beyond November 20th, not only do the suppliers get very busy, but the Amazon warehouses are very backlogged and there is a possibility that you won't be able to get your inventory into the warehouses due to those delays and thus miss out on your opportunity for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Shipping times also need to be considered here. To get a good idea of how much shipping would cost and how long it would take, you can go to Fright OS. You will need an account for this. I'm sure many of you use, use this already, but what you can do is set the origin of where your manufacturer is, mostly in China, but it depends on where your specific manufacturer is. The destination, I've picked United States here the load size, which is the packaging type and the dimensions. And then you just indicate whether the goods are ready. It can be in two weeks or more than two weeks. I don't believe the goods value actually matters, but let's say it's $10,000. Put all these things in and you press search. You pick whether you need a brokerage and bonds. It's up to you, depending on what kind of setup you have. You might have a private broker. We'll just confirm this here. It takes a little while to generate it all. Give it a good minute because it looks through quite a few opportunities here. And there you have it. As you can see here, it tells you the cost and the time. It's This is 52 to 62 days. So that takes quite a while, but it is also the cheapest op option with uh, $1,491.94. And the quickest is 11 to 18 days, which is obviously a little bit more expensive. But if you have the money, then it might be worth it if, if it's going to get you into the warehouse before Black Friday or Cyber Monday. The next few important dates that you need to know is November 1st and to November 20th. Now, this is at a very underrated part of Q4 because this is where early Black Friday deals can come into effect. These are very optional, but many vendors and many sellers use this to a great advantage. People love Black Friday. Just the term Black Friday gets people excited and they will be looking for deals during this time period. You can run a smaller deal if you would like and then save a bigger deal for Black Friday day itself. Or if you want, you can also run deals on your variations during the early Black Friday deals. But then on Black Friday day itself, you can run a deal 
on your hero product. Lots of ways to go about doing this. It uh, takes a little bit of creativity, but you can definitely take advantage of these early time period from November 1st to November 20th. From November 20th to December 1st, this is where the sellers really start kicking in with their PPC campaigns. Black Friday day sales deals start usually the week before Black Friday, but this is where Amazon sellers increase the budget for their PPC campaigns. Now that you have your inventory already and you have an idea of the important dates for all of Q4, next most important thing is preparing your listing to be at the top of every organic search. So what you wanna ensure is that your product listing is full of highly valuable and relevant keyword search terms. If you want some guidance on which keywords to use for your listing, you can use a product or a software service like Jungle Scout or Helium 10, and I'll show you how. First, search up the niche of your product. I've just got bedding here. And I look at the top competitor, which is Rosegonia Queen Comforter Set. And I go to this page and I copy the ASIN and then I go to Jungle Scout. In Jungle Scout, I go to the keywords, keyword scout. And what it does is a reverse ASIN search. You type in the search or the ASIN of your top competitor, press enter, and it will generate all of the keywords that are used for this product. It tells you the exact search volume, PPC bid estimates, and the ease to rank. Now, you can use this to run PPC campaigns, but also it is very important that you take the most relevant keywords in here and ensure that your listing has those keywords. So your listing is ready, now let's look at your price. So consider a very dynamic pricing strategy. Look at your competitor's price and price accordingly. Look at your sales history, look at what works best and ensure that you have the right price on your product. Now your listing is ready with highly relevant keywords and you're ready to address your price. Consider a very dynamic pricing strategy. Over the course of Q4, constantly look at your competitor's pricing and price accordingly. Look at your sales history, look at what numbers do the best and adjust your price and be willing to change it weekly or on an even daily basis based on how the deals are performing relative to your customers. If you are selling too quickly, and you're not making too much of a profit, you might want to increase your price. If you're not selling enough and your competitors have a lower price, you might want to consider lowering your price. All in all, but the most important thing is make sure you're dynamic with it and be willing to change it as the competitive landscape changes over the course of Q4. All right, so your listing is optimized, your inventory is ready, and the dates to be aware of. Let's move on to the PPC campaign. The best tip I can give you for your PPC campaigns is do not get fancy. Just double down on what works. Look at the keywords and the campaigns that have already been con converting and consider spending more on them. Be very mindful about your budget because it is a very competitive season and therefore you'll probably spend, in fact, you will spend more on your PPC campaigns than any other quarter and you're giving discounts for the sales. So this can result in lower profit. That's why you have to be very mindful and be aware of how much profit you are turning via your PPC campaign. You can also use budget rules to ensure that you're maximizing your profit despite the increased spend and the discounts. And you can apply budget rules by going to your seller central, going to your PPC campaigns, campaign manager, the quick and dirty way to increase all the budgets and put budget rules is click all your campaigns and adjust budget. Here you can increase the budget by whatever amount that you prefer, but let's say 100%, and that'll double the budget on your PPC campaigns all at once. If you want to be a bit more specific and targeted, what you can do is click the campaigns that you want to increase the budget on because you know they work. Click the campaign, and once you're in the campaign, go to budget rules and add a budget rule, give it a name, and then you have two types of budget rules that you can apply here. One is based off schedule and one is based off performance. Schedule is pretty straightforward. It increases your budget based on a certain time period. So you have an option that to use uh, a time period dedicated to events that Amazon has pre-built in. If you look here, it can be during Halloween event, which is the 22nd to the 31st of October, Black Friday, November 20th to 29th, Cyber Monday, 28th to December 2nd, and as well as New Year's and so on and so forth throughout the year. Or you could do a custom range. Let's say you want to get some early Black Friday sales in. So what you do is custom range, November 1st to November 20th then you put a rule in you can say daily which means every day of this time period or you can do weekly which means that only these days of the week of each week in this time period hours of the day you can get that specific as well you can do it all day or you can choose a start time and end time maybe from 5 p.m to 10 p.m when everyone's home from work it's all up to you on that regard and then you just simply give it a rule to increase the budget by so 100 percent or whatever value makes sense for you and your budget aside from schedule-based budget rules you can also apply performance-based budget rules 
models. Performance-based budgets are a very dynamic way in which the Amazon algorithm changes your budget rules based off of a return on a metric that you have set. The metrics that you can use for this budget rule are ROAS, ACOS, CTR, and conversion rates. Similarly, you can apply a date range for which this budget rule is active, but effectively, if you pick performance rule, you pick a performance metric, let's say ROAS greater than equal to or five. This means that for every $5 earned, you spend $1 in advertising. And if it doesn't meet that requirement, then the budget is not increased. So the Amazon uses its own algorithm to figure out whether it can meet your metric requirements. A very dynamic way of setting budget rules and perhaps a better way for you to ensure that you're getting a return on the ads that you spend. Now let's talk about some of the deals that you can leverage for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and Christmas. There's two types of deals that I'm gonna go over here, but we are gonna have another video dedicated to deals and other opportunities that you have as well. The first deal is a seven day long deal. And the second one is a lightning deal. The seven day long is pretty straightforward. Seven days you have that deal active for. And a lightning deal is effectively a flash deal that lasts for a minimum of four hours and up to 10 hours. The thing with lightning deals is you cannot choose to do them. Amazon can only recommend products in which it'll allow lightning deals for. The flash sales can last up to 10 hours on the Amazon deal page. And it's really useful because it creates urgency. It increases revenue over a short period of time. It can drive demand and boost sales ranking. And it can also help you clear through your inventory. Note that on holidays, Lightning deals typically incur a flat fee, usually around $300 to the seller. As for what products you should promote, like I said earlier, Amazon does suggest which products you can use, but of the products, if you have more than one, I highly recommend only choosing the top performance because the Amazon deals page prioritizes top performers to show first. So pick something that has four stars or above. The deal requirement or the discount requirement for lightning deals is a minimum of 15%. You can do more and Amazon suggests what kind of discount you should give, but I don't recommend anything greater than 60% as it can be detrimental to the perceived value for the customer. And lastly, you can only run this deal if you have enough inventory. If you do not have enough inventory, Amazon will simply not let you run a lightning deal. And again, just want to reiterate that Amazon recommends which deals that you can run for lightning deals. You cannot set these yourself. Second is the seven day deal. Seven day deals are really useful because they're featured on the Amazon deals page and they get a badge that's called limited time only. I'll show you. So if you go to your Amazon page and you go to today's deals, as the consumer, it would take them to this deals page. And as you can see here, it tells you the deal itself and how much time you have left to actually take advantage of this deal. The, the limited time deal badge is very useful as it drives urgency way up and it can really make the deal seem a lot more valuable. There are some requirements. The product has to have a sales history already and a minimum of three star rating for it to be qualifying for a seven day deal and to be on the deals page. It has to be prime eligible and has to be in brand new condition. And the minimum discount requirement is 10%. Unlike 15% for lightning deals, 10% is still the bare minimum for the seven day deal. And lastly, make sure that you are managing your listing and your deals for all of Q4 daily. Watch your listing and account and your uh, competitors uh, pages closely. Be prepared to adjust the price up and down if the results of your PPC campaigns and sales are not going the way you want them to do. If you're getting sales too fast, consider increasing the price. If you are not selling well, review the impressions and determine if you need to increase the PPC spend, adjust the price, or improve your listing. That's all for this video, guys. I'm gonna come back again with more details on the deals next time. But till then, best of selling.